Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 41. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're now here for the Class A International Tour. Uh, we're taking the Bentley for this one, and starting off with Miguelo, then Circuit de Catalonia, Indianapolis, Nürburgring, Camino via de Montserrat Extreme Circuit, Infineon, and then some Hockenheim Ring. Let's get going. I can imagine the dumbest thing ever would be to build a house like the Apple Store. Fucking imagine that. Bye bye, walls. Holy fuck, this Bentley's quick. Look at the little wing. Oh, this actually might be the first car that I've got that has an active aero. Or some form of uh, active aerodynamics. But uh, for this car, as soon as you're above that threshold, it's just up permanently, pretty much. Because it was from this game onwards that they acted, a actually added active aerodynamics. Fuck. Got a bit wide there. Oh well. Not bad. This thing is actually really, really good. I was expecting this to be an absolute ball ache like, to drive around the corners, but surprisingly, not that bad. It's definitely not like Need for Speed, where it's just like, oh, it weighs like five kilos. Every car in Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 weighed like 10 kilos. So they were just all easy to drive. But the Bentley was like, it was like its own thing. It was just so cool. I can't remember if they used the Bentley as one of the uh, most wanted cars or not. I don't think they did. I think it was just a normal car.
Not bad. This is looking good. This is looking good. I'm loving how this thing is actually flowing around some of these corners. It's quite an enjoyable car. I'm very happy with it. Bentley Continental has actually surprised me today. I will take it. I am very happy with this. Two more laps to go after this one. That engine is lovely. Look at the front of the car as well. I think the Bentley is one of the only cars that can get away with the individual headlight design. The one that BMW did all those years ago, I believe it was an M3 or an M5, something like that. Disgusting. Horrible car. doing a great job. Bit of bit him. That's oh, just an email. It's just an email. super, super smooth. I think the copyright as well is actually working because I haven't had any issues. I 
I haven't had any issues with uh, copyright claims or anything like that, so... There we go. Not bad. Good first race, and the Bentley's done us proud. And I'm also apparently a fan of Bentley. I won't say no. Let's do this! Vroom vroom. That's such a nice interior as well. Bentley knows how to make a good looking car. And Alfa Romeo knows how to destroy a good-looking car. Assholes. Oh! Absolutely bin that one. Oh, cubs are big as well. There's a little little active aero wing. The little wing. Oh, that's so cool. The Bugatti's in this game. Obviously, that's going to have it then. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to have to drive the Bugatti. I, I'm not sure whether it's S-Class or R3. Because I think they added normal supercars, like hypercars, into the R3 category for this game. Whereas in the last game, all of the cars were sort of S-tier. And then R3, R2, and R1 were reserved exclusively for race cars. You can still upgrade a normal car into R3, but if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how it was in Motorsport 3. Motorsport 4, slightly different. bad. Eh. Got another email. I'm getting so many emails today. What the hell's going on? You have been copyrighted. Uh-oh. It's 
Surprisingly, copyright's not been an issue for me, so... I'll take it! Asma, what's up? How are you today? It's a very nice car. It is a very nice car. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Oh, yeah. So, for anyone who is actually watching this, that watched previous streams, you might notice the... Uh, the latency has been reduced. I'm actually testing out the low latency, like the ultra low latency. And it, it seems to be working. The only issue is the actual quality of the live stream looks a little fuzzier than normal. I think that's just how the processing is. Um, I am going to see how the stream looks afterwards as like a video, because if it looks pretty bad, then I might go back to just normal low latency as opposed to the ultra low latency. <laughs> I have no clue what on earth just happened there. I've just chosen a completely different route. bad. I love the way this car drives. It's lovely. Even though I'm struggling with it. But it's just... It's so much more stable than a lot of other cars in this. I quite like it. boat is indeed moving. It is moving very well. Very good. But yeah, welcome to the stream, everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. If you are enjoying the content, feel free to uh, drop a like. Share the stream out. Share the videos. Join as a channel member. Press some buttons as any way really does help support the channel. Nice. Look at this sellout. I'm a sellout. I'm a sellout. I'm a sellout and I'm proud of it. I'm not proud of that though. Completely missed the breaking point. Bonk. A <laughs> salad. too aggressive on the throttle there. So hopefully, uh, I've I've got the um, actual brackets. <laughs> Not nice driving. <laughs> um, I've got the brackets and the the uh, what's it called? The actual reward set up for the Memberathon stream. So hopefully it all goes pretty well. <laughs> nice dive bombing. Dive bomb up the inside! Way!
I still need to get that um, hairpin corner nailed. Not bad, this is looking good. I like this. Not bad. This is looking good. He's going very well so far. Got a good distance on the cars behind. No, I'm taking the Formula One circuit route. That's where the Formula One circuit goes. Much better. <laughs> what is your favorite car? I'd have to say at the moment, I don't know, actually. I'll probably say the Lexus LFA. I think that's quite a, quite a nice car. By the way, if you are wanting to change how your car looks, your little avatar at the bottom of the screen, click that link uh, and you'll be able to change and customize how your car looks. Not bad. I'll take those rewards. Think of it a merge. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. We're doing quite a lot of streams this week, so I'm going to be doing... Um, tomorrow, I think, is Motorsport 4 and then some F123. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. So Thursday, I'm going to do some Dirt Rally and some F123 that day. Um, yeah, we got loads of content planned up. And also, uh, every day I'm posting a Forza Motorsport video. So, there's also that to look forward to. Why won't you play 2024 F1? I'm sorry, the time machine just isn't working today. Um, so I'm, I'm having to play the 2023 version because uh, that one is available to me right now Imagine if you can do that if you could go into the future record a video and then come back and be like here's F1 2024 Imagine how confused Codemasters developers would be we'd be like oh Oh, this is just fake and then all of a sudden they're developing and then they're like I've seen this before I've had this idea before how what? they'd be so confused <laughs> that'd be funny as fuck <laughs>
I would like to apologize for any Codemasters developers I have confused. Oh, there's the apology video. <laughs> oh yeah, GTA 6 would be ruined. Like, GTA 6 would just get pirated and then people would distribute it. Like, here you go. I am looking forward to... <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm looking forward to uh, GTA 6 coming out. Here's the issue, right? So, GTA 6... When that got announced... Obviously... Well, it's not been announced yet. But, like, leaked and everything. When that got leaked, everyone was all hyped up and everything. And along with those leaks, there's been extra leaks beyond the leaks that we've already had. Leaks upon leaks upon leaks. And one of these leaks has been that the game is going to cost $150. Right? Now, a lot of people are going, Oh, that's a ridiculous amount of money for a video game. I don't. Okay? And I... I don't want all video games to be that price, 100%. I agree that would be an insane amount of money. But when you actually put some thought into it, and you realize that people are willingly going to spend £70 on Ratchet and Clank, they're going to spend £60 on Spider-Man Miles Morales. Miles Morales is a six-hour game, at most. Ratchet and Clank is a platinum game that's finished in 18 hours. Like, you you can complete the game in about 6 hours, and it will take you 18 hours total to fully platinum the game from start to finish. Then, how is GTA 6 being priced at 150 with a ridiculous amount of content that's been... Like, they're saying it's going to have over 60 hours of content. The game's going to be huge. It's obviously going to have an online mode. It's going to have all this, that, and whatever. It's been in development for 10 years. How... I, yeah, is it... In terms of initial investment for the game, 150 is a lot. 100%. And I will agree on that. But people spend £60 on... Spider-Man Miles Morales, a game that only has about six to eight hours of content. And we'll spend £60 and say, oh, this is a great game. I enjoyed that. Which has a game, by the way, which has no replayability value whatsoever. Yet yeah, GTA technically will, depending on how they go about it, will have no replayability. When you look at GTA 5, for example, there is at least two replayability values to it. Because when it comes to all the heists, most of them have one or two options for the heists. You can do it uh, this way or you can do it the other way. So at least when it comes to GTA, you can play through that story twice for GTA 5. At least. And that's one of the issues with... I think 150 is reasonable. So long as it is worth 150 based on what we're already paying for what is... I, I think games should be about £80 at most for games that give that much content. But the people that are saying 150 is too expensive are also the same people that are buying... PlayStation games that are like six hours long. Yeah, a hundred percent. If you can't afford that, and it's, I wouldn't be able to afford 150 day one. So I would wait for a sale. But it's the same people that are buying PlayStation games that are also saying 150 is too expensive. Oh, we can't spend that much money. And it's like. Well, I don't know what to say.
If the game is going to have a lot of content and it's going to be a high quality game. I think if they, if they priced it at $100. Uh, so for these championships, I always pick the same car throughout the entire championship. So until I finish this championship, it will just be this car. Um, I know it's a little bit boring, a little bit tedious, but it then means that there's sort of some uniform nature to the videos, because these get made into videos afterwards, so. And on top of that, if I'm changing the car constantly, it makes it an absolute, A, an absolute nightmare to get the thumbnail, because then I have to look through and pick different cars. But B, I get an experience with the car, I get to experience the Bentley for the entire championship. And then once that's done, I probably won't drive the Bentley again. I'll drive a different car. Um, yeah. That's sort of the, the way that I want want the series to go. And so far, it's actually been very enjoyable. So, I can't, really am enjoying it. Because I've already done Motorsport 1, 2, and 3. I've done those 100 percent -ed. Those videos are up on the channel as well, so if you're looking for something to watch while I'm not streaming, give those a watch, because they have some very, very good games there. Motorsport 1, 2, and 3, absolute gems in the series. Have I progressed collecting Need for Speeds? Not very well. Um, I've got Need for Speed 2012 upwards on Steam, so I've got no issues with that. Obviously, I got Unbound as well. Um, the ones before it, I've got some on PC. But I, I don't have any intention of buying... H here's the thing. I think my next series, I'm going to look at getting the F1 games. And uh, if if I'm able to push for double uploads, I might be doing F1 2010 beyond. I'm still not sure yet. It is, but I feel like when we've got different drivers, we've got slightly different tracks, different cars there could be a way that I can make it interesting. I think it'd be like following the development of a driver, a brand new driver driving for Red Bull. It's still up in the air, so there's no... I'm not sure yet how it would work. Not bad. Who will take that? Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Vroom, vroom shoplifting no not quite i'm gonna go normal shopping and I i'm gonna go transactional shopping which means that i will get goods via making a transaction um yeah i i, I don't have the intention of doing any shoplifting shopping anytime soon <laughs> youtube for legal reasons that's a joke okay <laughs> Let's go! By the way, how's the uh, music compared to the gameplay? Is the music too loud, too quiet? I'm not too sure. It's all good. Okay. Because I've found that um, when the music is going, coming directly from Tidal straight into OBS, it's very loud. So I've had to turn it down halfway. Whereas when I'm putting it through voice meter, it's sli a slightly different story. So hopefully it's uh, pretty good now. Oh no! I was looking at chat. Okay, there we go. We're back on the track.
don't look like a Chad. I'm not a Chad. I'm a Bob. My name is Bob Ross. And I'm an artist. <laughs> SpongeBob Autist. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, that is the chicane for um, the 24 hour circuit. It's the one where it's a little less jarring. The other chicane is used for the actual main GP circuit, which I'm a little bit confused why they're not using it for this one. I still can't believe they're not going to have the Nordschleifer in Forza Motorsport. And from what I've seen... Ooh, I watched Super GT's video this morning. Um, obviously, Super GT has got hands-on with the game. It doesn't look that great. And it has me really disappointed. Like, don't get me wrong, the graphics are, like, I can put up with bad graphics. But it looks like they've tried to focus on some really strange stuff. Um, I'm still going to buy it, because I'm a sucker for that stuff. And if the game runs on Steam Deck, I will get it. I don't know. I, d I don't, genuinely don't know. If it doesn't run on Steam Deck, I'll be very concerned. Because, uh... Yeah. I'll, I'll buy the game. If it doesn't run well, I'll refund it straight away. Like... Yeah. The, the minimum requirement for Motorsport 8, because of the fact that I'm not going to be playing it a significant amount on stream, because I'll still be playing a lot of Motorsport 4. I, I think a lot of the Motorsport streams, I'm going to do like a little bit of Motorsport 4, or like Motorsport 8 first, and then do some Motorsport 4 to finish off. Something like that. Yeah, the up the upgrade system has me a little concerned. I think for single player, I think it's a good idea. I don't think it's going to work for multiplayer. Like single player doesn't bother me because, in terms of like the fact, oh yeah, you just drive your car, and you have to drive your car to make it better. I think that's good. I think that's a good idea because that way it forces you to experience the car in its raw nature, which a lot of the times once you start all of the Forza games, you don't really experience a car in its raw nature. Um, but when it comes to... Yeah, 100%. 100%. I, th I think after a while it might get tedious. Oh, I've hit the inside of that corner. Not great. I think after a while it will get tedious, and I I will agree with you on that one, Heinz. Um, the only issue is, I, I think it's an okay system for single player. I just don't think it's going to work for multiplayer. Because you're going to get into a session, and then it's like, oh, well, what do we do now? What?
Could you drift? Uh, I can't. I've got stability control on. So every time I try and drift, it just sort of stops it. Dead in my tracks. Shit. Okay, looks good. There we go. By the way, if you're not already in the Discord, feel free to have a look in the description. Join the Discord server as uh, any content that I make, whether that be on Instagram, YouTube, all gets posted there. So you'll be kept most up to date if you're in the Discord. And on top of that, I'm normally quite active chatting in the Discord, so... A very, very awesome place to be. BMW Power. Yeah. This is the best Forza Motorsport that's ever existed. They're definitely um, cranking up the gain a little bit high on the exhaust to some of these cars. 100%. Could I pronounce your name? Uh, I mean, I can attempt. I can, I can see how it goes. Um, other than... What the fuck happened to the controller? What the hell was that? I can, I can attempt it, but I don't expect it to be perfect, because it, it, it won't. <laughs> uh... Mubashir. Mubashir? Mubashir? I'm going to go for the first one. Mubashir. I'm probably miles off, but I don't care. <laughs> I gave you pre-warning. Little bit of drum and bass. 
Little bit of drum and bass. Way. You were close. I'll take it. If I was close, then... <laughs> I'm actually alright with pronunciation and names. But there are some names that I will just, like, completely s screw it up. What is your pronouns? Moron. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.